the top charted rap songs from 1988 to 1999. So let's get started. <laughs> and welcome to Book Recommendations with Paula. This week we have very many book recommendations and we also have a book talk from Myla in grade three. First book recommendation for this week is the Secret Seven series. They are mystery novels and they are suitable to anyone over the age of seven. Next book recommendation is The Little Prince. This is a fantasy novel and it is suitable for anyone over the age of eight. The next book recommendation is Little Woman. It is a classical book and historical fiction and it is suitable for anyone over the age of 10. Our last book recommendation for lower school is Keeper of the Lost Cities. This is also a fantasy uh, series and it is suitable for anyone over the age of 10, but many students in middle and high school love this book as well. This mystery book recommendations are novels by Agatha Christie. The age range depends on each novel, but some of them are suitable for 11 and 12 year olds and above. This book recommendation is A Study in Charlotte and it is suitable for anyone who is 13 and above. Have the Truly Devious series and this book is also suitable for anyone who is 13 and above. Our last mystery book recommendation is Sherlock Holmes books and these books are also suitable to anyone who is 13 and above. Our next genre is fantasy and all of these books are meant for anyone who is 13 and above. First we have The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. Uh, then we have Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. And lastly we have Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. Our last book genre for today is contemporary books, and all of the next books are meant for anyone who is 13 and above. Our first book recommendation is All the Bright Places. Uh, our next book recommendation is Sad Girls. And our last book recommendation for today is The Hate You Give. This is Hi, my name is Matt. Today I'll be talking about a book called Who is Ruth Bader Ginsburg? She's the second woman to get to Supreme Court. Most people just know her as RBG. She died at the year she died this year at the age of 87. You can find more books like this one online. Where is Ruth from? Ruth is from Brooklyn, USA. Why do you like Ruth so much? I like Ruth because she shows everyone that everyone can be a leader and Anything is possible. What is this book about? This book is about Ruth's life. And and it's a biography book. You can find more books like this one, such as Albert Einstein and Louis Armstrong. And so on. These books are located at these books are located at Amazon on WhoHQ. On page 18 of the of this book, you can find another important person. Happy reading! Bye! I hope you enjoyed our book recommendations today. And if you have any of your own, you can send them into our email at goodmorningacs at gmail.com or our Instagram, goodmorningacs. Um, thank you for watching. Have a nice weekend. Welcome to Comic Book Trivia, your gateway to the wonderful world of comics. I'm your host, Namira, 
and today I'm going to tell you guys where you can find comics. First we're going to look at places where you can get comics in Qatar, like like physical comics. First on our list for comic stores is Doha Comics. It's located in the Pearl. Then we have Fanac, uh, Qatar in Laguna Mall. Sell, sells comics. And then we have Dreer Bookstore, which I think some locations may have comic books, some may not. And that's it for the comic book stores in Qatar. So I'm going to show you guys where you can get comics, download comics online for free. And it's called, the website is called Get Comics. You see you, you, this homepage already has so many comic books. And we can just test it out. Uh, as an example, so we click go to here, find search. So now we have found search. Uh, for example, we'll look up Miss Marvel No Normal, which is the first volume in the Miss Marvel series. Now let's look at the results. So, yep, yeah, we'll look right here, and then I click on it. This link will have one volumes one to nine, and then I just come here. So just download. So just waiting. Okay. While that's loading, I can show you the comics that I have downloaded before. Here I just put them in a folder, and for example, let's look at the Miss Marvel because they're kind of right here, all nice in a. Comic. So they download a format called CBR, which you need in an app that you can open it in. Personally, I have Simple Comics. So the one that I use, which is free, but on the, on your phone, these can also be downloaded to your phone, the CBRs. So you can read it wherever you want to go. And um, see, I have a Simple Comic, and see, some of them are uh, cost money. And those ones probably don't have ads on their phone versions. See, on this format, you can have it either one page or if you want it to be a little bit bigger. You can have it open bigger like that or want it even bigger. And you can also have two pages on one screen. Yeah, so that's how you read CBRs if you do use Get Comics to look for your comics. They're pretty up to date with getting recent comics. Another place where you can find comics in Qatar is the Q&L ebook section and here they have Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales and they have the ebook versions of Batman Nightwalker, Wonder Woman Warbringer and I yeah. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jokes of the Week with Alia Joffrey. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. <laughs> a man says to his doctor, Doc, help me. I'm addicted to Instagram. And the doctor says, Sorry, I don't follow you. <laughs> what did one hat say to the other? You wait here. I'll go on ahead. What do you call a magic dog? A labracadabrador. Oh. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.